Welcome back everyone. We're here in Monmouth. It's a beautiful day. Couldn't have asked for a better day for a walk, for a test walk. I'm stood here beside uh, the gated bridge which spans the River Mono. I think it dates back to around about 1250, 13th century and is the only fortified bridge of its kind in Great Britain. It's a really unique structure. Yeah, I love this bridge. Alright, so we're here for a walk today. It's about seven miles. Alright mate, how you doing? How you doing? Alright man, yeah. Yeah, so it's about seven miles. This guy's coming down here now. What we're going to do, we're going to cross the bridge, not this one, but the next one. We're going to walk alongside the River Mono until uh, we get to its confluence. I'm going to cross over uh, through to the Girded Bridge over the River Wye and we're going to walk a short, short stretch of the Wye Valley Walk until we get to Redbrook. From Redbrook we're going to step onto the Offers Dyke Path through Druffield's Lane, I think it's Duffield's or Druffield's Lane, through to um, the Roundhouse and the Royal Naval Temple on Kymin Hill on the climb in, they call it the climb in. Uh, we're not there uh, necessarily to take a look at the roundhouse and the, and the temple to the Royal Navy because essentially that's, you know, it pays homage to Empire essentially. But we're there for the views. As I said, it's a beautiful day. I'm hoping that we'll see through to perhaps the Skirid Fire and Sugarloaf and the Brecon Beacons. We'll see. All right, we've got a seven mile test walk. We haven't walked seven mile for two years, not for two years. So we'll see how this goes. I've done a lot of work on my ankle and my shin. Uh, I'm really keen to see if it'll last the distance. It's been doing all right. All right, without further ado, let's get the walk underway. It's beautiful here with the ducks and the bridge. It's great to be back in Monmouth. This beautiful swan here. Yeah, the vibes are good. All right, guys. Let's see what unfolds. I'll bring you back. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? All right, Jules. We've got Julian, guys. We're having a great day in Monmouth. We've just come up by bus from Chetstone. Well, we've my just friend, started. It's my friend you, Frederick. Here, here he is. Your dog is Frederick. Yeah, beautiful, Frederick. beautiful dog. Hello, Frederick. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Frederick. Oh, sorry, Frederick. Yeah, Frederick likes it. Yeah. No. So. I'll tell you what guys, me and Jules met on top of the Hattrell Ridge, Ridge well yeah. Black Blanks' Hattrell Ridge yeah. and I'd just done a camp and the funny thing is that was the time I got injured for two years. Oh gosh, so, like they walk back or something. so I'm back for a test walk yeah. and I meet Jules well, here. Let's uh, hope it's a successful test walk. Yeah, and the last time I saw Jules was on top of the mountain. Yeah. So good to meet you, Jules. Good to, that's a good my, that's a good sign, don't you reckon? You look after yourself. Yeah. I reckon that's a good sign, mate. I think so. Yeah, I think it, you know? it definitely is. All right, Jules. All the best, Thanks, mate. mate. See you. Bye now. I'm actually going to walk over the old fortified bridge. Look at this guys, 12th, 13th century, the only fortified bridge of its kind in the UK, spanning the River Mono. So yeah, my friends in the United States, you'd love this guys. So how unusual to meet Jules there. I haven't seen Jules since I last camped on the Black Mountains. Here we are, here's the River Mono guys. Now just quickly, the River Mono begins on Kevin Hill, it's called Kevin Hill. Or some people like to think it starts on the northeastern slope of the Hay Bluff. I like to think it starts on Kevin Hill, opposite the Hay Bluff. And the views are spectacular. So these are the headwaters of the River Mono. You can see the whole of the Hay Bluff and the eastern escarpment of the Black Mountains from the source of this river. So how unusual to see Jules. Jules, that was really good meeting. Uh, really good to see you. Hope to walk with you one day. All right. Yeah, so, so we're off. I'm going to walk along this road. I'm going to get to the confluence of the River Mono and I'm going to make a beeline for the old Girder Bridge. All right guys, I'll bring you back. What a great start. All about water. 
I think we ought to have a, a kind of a revolution, a renaissance, and reintroduce water fountains in our towns. The health of our communities would be drastically, dramatically improved, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, so what's the score here? Erected by subscription to commemorate the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria. Yeah, lovely. I imagine that was really nice water. Used to pour in there, you could have a drink and get on your way. The bridge is that way, the hike is that way. Here we are, up onto the steel girder bridge. Now I don't know the uh, history behind this. It's not one of the facts I researched before this walk today. But there are a couple of things I can tell you about it. Got another wonderful dog here. Hello, beautiful dog. <laughs> Got family too. Yeah, this here is where Paul and I finished our river trothy hike. Paul made a brew there. Now, for those of you that don't know Paul, he was my identical twin brother. Hiya, mate. How's the little one? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, Paul was my identical twin brother. And he died in 2016. And uh, current subscribers know this, but this is for the benefit of new subscribers. Yeah, and we uh, brewed up here at the uh, end of our trothy hike. Had a lovely brew. He always, he always enjoyed getting his brew kit out. Lovely sound of a Canada goose down there. Yeah, remembering you, Paul. Back on the old steel girder bridge. I'll put the fact up uh, about the bridge. And I'll put it up to this photograph now. Yeah, um, the second fact, fact is that me and Paul had a brew here. All right, mate, how you doing? Plenty of activity going on today. Um, is that this is the bridge my father Terry used to come and practice demolitions on. <laughs> he used to say to us, off to blow up a bridge this morning, lads. And it was this bridge that the SAS used to practice on. Uh, Dad used to run the demolitions for some years. He was said to be one of the finest special forces demolitions experts in the world, my dad. And uh, yeah, they used to come and practice here. And that's for the benefit of new subscribers, uh, not old subscribers. Talking of subscribing, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, guys. This is a, we're, we're in a beautiful spot here. And I'm back out walking. And uh, I haven't been out for a while, this is a test walk. But yeah, I'm near, I'm just over 3,900 subscribers and that's taken four years to, not four years, sorry, I've been here 10 years since 2013. That's a long time. So help us get over 4,000 subscribers, guys. If you're not subscribed, please do hit the button below. Uh, it's been a heck of a journey. I've lost a load of subscribers since the death of my twin brother. Countless subscribers. Uh, people didn't want to get involved with the grief. There's a lot of grief. My current subscribers know that. That's what featured on this channel for a long time. Hiking, camping and grief. And, and people just didn't want it. They didn't want to know. They didn't subscribe as a result. And people unsubscribed because of my emotional state. Yeah, it, it's been a really terrible journey. But, um, you know, I'm healing. I'm getting better, I'm remembering my brother, my dear brother, and uh, getting on with life. And uh, if you can help me get over 4,000 subscribers, that would be amazing. Uh, I'm always uploading. Of late, last two years, I haven't been out camping or long distance hiking because of injury. Uh, you probably gathered that by now. All right, let's get going.
Just loving the sounds of the river today. This is no doubt the remnants of an old weir. And the River Wye is renowned for having no weirs. Well there's a gauging weir up at source but that's about it. Yeah, lovely sounds of the river. Ah, lovely. We have bluebells on trail. That way. That's the Monmouthshire showground there, guys. And here is the River Trothy Confluence, just across the way. I just want to show you this, because I'll, I'll tell you what, you know, we've just come out of the trail. The trail is just there. You come through a kissing gate. It's about 50 metres, I'd say. And then the River Trothy Confluence is here. Well, you can actually see it right across there now. Uh, blinking, you'd miss it. There you go, that. Whoops. Trying to keep the camera steady. But yeah, there's the trothy, guys. I'm just going to swap hands and zoom in. There you go. There's the river trothy. The trothy confluence with the Y. Now, the trothy is a, is a nice little river. It flows for about 28 miles, 30 miles, and starts just northeast of the Skirid Vower. And the headwaters are really very beautiful. Deep rolling hills. You've got the Skirid Vower, the Sugarloaf, some wonderful views. And this is where it flows, out into the Y. Absolutely wonderful. A lovely winding little river. Yeah, wonderful. Me and Paul stood at night time. It was night time it was. Uh, we finished the hike, the River Trothy hike, from source at night. And uh, yeah, there were two swans just paddling about the confluence. It was a really wonderful meeting after hiking, I don't know, say 28, 30 mile. Nice little setup there, under canvas. Heading towards Redbrook, we are passing by some wonderful art pieces. This is probably part of um, the Y Valley, yeah, is it an art festival? Music, art, dance, theatre, film. Possibly has something to do with it, but yeah, very pleasant. Always good to see. All right, guys, we've got Neil here. How are you doing, Neil? I'm all right. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Good to meet you. You're doing a stretch of the Y Valley, I'm, aren't you? Uh, I'm off to Tintin today. Yeah. From Monmouth and then Tintin to Chepstow tomorrow to finish the Y Valley. Yeah, we were just uh, talking about. Well, lost just briefly, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, making connections. It's a bit of a cosmic day, I would say. Absolutely. I agree you know? with that. Yeah. As, as certain doors close and loss happens, other doors open. They do. But um, what are you doing tomorrow then, Neil? I mean, what, what's the plans? Plans tomorrow are I'm staying in a hotel in Tinton tonight. Yeah. Plans tomorrow are up early and head straight to Chepstow early yeah, yeah, yeah. before the rains come. Yeah. <laughs> but plans beyond that, we were talking. Yeah. Uh, to walk other sections of the Y, aren't they? Yeah, I need to go to the source. What, what are you Earth. looking forward to most? What, what section are you looking forward uh, to most? I'm, I'm looking forward to the source, finding the source up north right. of Bilthwell. Up in Pum Lumen? Yeah, yeah. Pum yeah. Lumen and then coming down from there. Yeah, they call it Pum Lumen, P U M. Yeah. Well, there's Plin Lumen, which is the anglicised version. Right. And then there's Pum Lumen, which is the Welsh. Uh, and Pum means five, it means five peaks. Oh, so when, okay. you, when you get up there, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a massive, and it, it's Wales's largest watershed. Okay. Uh, it's huge up there. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of water. Do you get me? There's a near, near another source. It's the source of the, well, the source of the Severn, Severn yes. and the Rydal as well. Yeah. There's a few rivers that rise in ah, Pumlow, but okay. you'll enjoy it, man. Yeah. I you know. Wait. So uh, yeah. So there's, is that next year or this year? Uh, this year. You'll, you'll yeah. be heading up there this year. Yeah, I'll be heading up there this year. Well, all the best with that walk, Neil. Thank you very much. I think you'll have a good one. Yeah, I will. And what's your dog's name? Did I? That's Tux. 
Tux. Tux is uh, Lab Collie Otter. Uh, lab <laughs> Collie Otter. Yeah, of course, been in the river. We're at Redbrook, guys. So uh, Tux has just been in the river, and that's the old railway uh, line, the old Y Valley railway line. And it was built in 1876. And I think it was closed in 1959, something like that. I think probably the beaching report closed it. But uh, yeah, you can walk across it now. And that is actually the route of the Y Valley Walk, which will take you down to Chepstow. And that's where Neil is heading. And I'm heading left to my rear. All right, guys. Uh, really good meeting Neil and Tux. And uh, I'll bring you back. What a great day. All right, peace. Yeah, we just came from the old uh, Y Valley Rail Bridge there. <clears throat> Having chatted to Neil, that was a fantastic chat, so really good to meet you, Neil. Uh, enjoyed that, thoroughly enjoyed that. It's what makes my day. Have a good day, wherever you end up. So yeah, I'm just walking toward, uh, yeah, towards the office dike now. Just. Yeah, I just came from the bridge. I didn't show any of Redbrook, but here's what was probably, well, it's called the Brewery Yard, this is called. Yeah, I'll check this out. Yeah, so this is obviously uh, part of the old industrial infrastructure that was once part of Redbrook. This is called Brewery Yard, so this would have been part of one of the three breweries that existed in Redbrook once upon a time. Yeah, lovely property. Yeah, there were three breweries in Redbrook once upon a time. And 13 inns. Can you believe that? Little village, 13 inns and three breweries. You've got uh, the boat in now, which is on the Welsh side of the river, which is across the bridge where Neil and I were still talking. And uh, you've got the Bellin, which is on the English side. And Redbrook has also got, um, oh, it's very pleasant walking through this valley. And this was known to be, once upon a time, a very smoky, unhealthy industrial valley. You wouldn't know it now. But uh, there were copper plate works here once. I think it was 1698. 1692, uh, the copper plate works were introduced. And it was the copper capital of the UK once. Uh, they used to make the blanks for all the money uh, for the British government at the time. And uh, they used to ship up the iron ore, or not the iron ore, the copper ore, from Cornwall up through Chepstow. And yeah, you used to make uh, the blanks for the mint, the Royal Mint. And it used to, what they used to do, they used to have to roast the ore in order to separate the, I think it was the sulphur and the arsenic from the ore. And it used to, um, used to bellow up in, in yellow smoke, the whole valley. <laughs> Not very healthy at all. And this is just coming off the top of my head. I haven't got a mobile phone or anything. Uh, it's just coming off the top of my head from uh, something I was reading earlier. And of course, I'll just step in here. I mean, all these, these would have been workers' cottages. I like this idea, in fact. A small village that was world-renowned. Yeah, there you go, it's probably talking about, hello. It's probably talking about its industrial past here. What, what, what's the history behind these cottages? The old mill, where Carol's standing there. That's right. where um, the mill was. Right. Yeah. So this is the it was mill. a corn mill, wasn't it? Uh, it, from what I was reading, it was introduced in about the 14th, 1470s. Testing me now. I no, I know. I've just been reading. Well, I don't know. I've just been so, reading. So yeah, so um, the mill was there, and this was the mill house. Right, I see. The grain store and the stable. Oh wow! So mill house, grain store, stable. That's right. How about that, guys? Absolutely amazing. So they're still here, and you guys now living there. We're all here. Yeah, all good on you. Now. All right. Yeah. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Take care.
Yeah, guys. More wild edibles, some wild garlic, which are, whoops, which are always nice when you're on the trail. I'll just pick a few leaves and have a munch on the way. That'll do. We're heading up that way. Ah, oh, wonderful, all these woodlands. Bloody beautiful, Y Valley. It's actually a spectacular area of the United Kingdom. The Y Valley, Forest of Dean. Got Simon Jack that way. It's all wooded, all wooded. Absolutely wonderful. Probably got deer on top of this plateau here. This cup, we're on top of a bit of a plateau here. Probably got herds of deer that come in out of the wood. <coughs> Bit short of breath coming up that hill. Yeah, it's absolutely wonderful up here. This is what I would call an enclave. It's off the road. There are no public roads through here. It's completely private. It's a kingdom all of its own. Yeah, we like uh, old Victorian kissing gates like these. Especially when it leads to uh, nice paths like this. So here's the Naval Temple. We'll visit that first, because it's uh, nearest to the entrance. The roundhouse is here. It's right there. So we'll have a look at the temple. Uh, this naval temple, here we are, was erected August 1st, 1800, to perpetuate the names of those noble admirals who distinguished themselves by their glorious victories for England in the last and present wars, and in respectfully de dedicated to Her Grace the Duchess of Beaufort, daughter of, what is it? Admiral. Busquan. It's not it's not something that I'm interested in really to be honest. Uh, it is basically about dominance, control and power. You can only subjugate people through force, can't you? And that's what this represents basically. They say it represents, you know, all these great battles and this, that and the other, but no. The essence of it is uh, Physical force, physical power. So yeah, there's the na there's the naval temple. All right, this is the roundhouse, and this was uh, yeah, this was about class too. This was this was about something different. Uh, the roundhouse was built, I think, in 1794. It was built by a group of Monmouthshire gentlemen. Business people, influencers, influencers, influencers. <laughs> That's a mix between influential people and influencers. The influencers of their day. Yeah, this roundhouse here, 1794. Yeah, so it was built by the influencers of their day. They used to come up here and have their dinners and their meetings as friends and as business partners. All the influencers from across the yeah, from across Monmouthshire, I'd say, this part of Monmouthshire. Yeah, there's Monmouth down there. You can see Monmouth clear enough. But I wanted to see the Sugarloaf and the Skirid Valley. You can, on a clear day, you can see, you can't see the Skirid or the Sugarloaf now. It's in the distance there, trust me. All right, I'll get to a place where I can just set the camera up and we'll take a look around. Beautiful view though, of Monmouth down below. I've never seen Monmouth from this angle before. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, let's have a look around. This might get a bit grainy, guys. But that there is the viaduct. And that there is the River Mono. That's, 
That's the confluence of the mono with the Y. You can probably just make out the steel girder bridge in the centre there. In actual fact, if we come back around here, skirting, you see that triangle field there? Skirting the edge of that triangle field is the River Trothy. Here we got Monmouth Town. And uh, yeah, um, let's have a look now. Yeah, that's the Mon Monmouth Bridge. I think that was built in like the 1750s. I'm not too sure. But I was just, I was just smiling just now because that there in the middle of the screen is the uh, canoe club, and that's where Paul and I dosed down when we hiked through some years ago. And Andy and I dust down there doing the Y Valley Walk. Right there. See that there? That's the canoe club. So I've dust down there a couple of times. I don't know any of the land landmarks, so I can't tell you what the landmarks are. But that's Monmouth Town. I was hoping for a, a better view today, it's a bit claggy. But beyond, on a clear day, beyond there on a clear day is the Skirid Bar and the Sugarloaf. You can usually get some great photos of both of them from here. But not today. We're about 800 feet above sea level here. It's a grand view. Yeah, um, really nice on the top here. Um, I think I might finish the vlog here, in fact. I'm just going to walk around and finish the vlog. I'm going to try and find a space out, out of the wind, because the wind is coming through the valley. But yeah, oh wow, the roundhouse. Built in 1794. It's uh, looked after by the National Trust now. But yeah, some top people here, dukes, top business people, influencers, writers, artists. They all came here to meet up, talk. This is where all the leading thinkers of the day in Monmouthshire came. You know, I bet you there's some pretty far out ideas expressed here. Yeah, so that was the view from the Kaimin. It's absolutely wonderful. It's a really nice garden here as well. Really pleasant. Well, that was a nice walk up to the Kaimin. Uh, yeah, I'm going to finish up here, I'm going to put the camera away and I'm just going to enjoy my walk back down to Monmouth. But this is a pleasant place to bring the vlog to an end, otherwise it will be ages and ages long, won't it? But yeah, I can imagine some good gatherings here. Alright, if you like that guys, give us a thumbs up. You know me, I always do. <laughs> Gotta like your own videos, right? Yeah, and if you want to comment, please do. Uh, I always get back to you. I always like to engage in lively debate. Uh, that's what the channel's for. It's, it's, it's a platform to exchange ideas and thoughts. And uh, if you want to subscribe, as I said earlier, please do subscribe. Uh, the aim is to get it over 4,000 subscribers. And I've had quite a journey getting here. Uh, so any help would be uh, very, very much appreciated. All right, guys, that's it. From the Kaimin, from the Roundhouse and the view of Monmouth down below. Until next time, take good care.